I have to say, that is absolutely stunning. Mm. Beautiful. All together, with the, with the raisins and the Chantilly cream, it's almost like a Christmas pud. Ooh. Happy? Yes. Good. Judy's definitely given herself quite a lot to do. Brown stew and then Jamaican curry as well. Just got to make sure she's, she's hit all of the flavours correctly. It's really, you've got, to, you've got to feel all of those spices coming through. Look at that! Come on, the Judy! When you're bringing them out with your fingers, why are you holding a wooden spoon? <laughs> Why are you holding the wooden spoon, Judy? This is what you guys do to us. Look at the panic. Go, go, go! Well done, Judy. Thank you. Hello, you all right? Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have cooked two types of Jamaican chicken. One is curry chicken and one is brown stew chicken, and I've made it with thyme rice and a vinaigrette tower of cucumber and carrot salad and just a little bit of planting. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. I want Judy to live with me. <laughs> this is incredible. My favourite has to be the brown stew. It's got so many lovely flavours, a nice kick to it as well. It's just delicious. I think it's all fabulous. Chicken curry, can't get enough of it. The rice is perfect. I can't fault it. I think the balance of the, the aromatics are, are perfect. The planting as well is delicious. Good thought presentation. Nice. Mm. I question two different chicken dishes on one plate. However, they're completely different from each other in flavour and also in texture. The brown one is more the flavour of bitter coffee than going into spice. The chicken curry, that is delicious. I mean, that's hot. It starts off as salty and it actually finishes with quite a bit of fiery heat. Let me ask you something. Let yeah, me ask you something. I, uh, yeah. How many portions of main course did we do? We did four. four. How many crumbles have you got? Three. You need four. Oh, I've still got enough. <sighs> take the three out that are cooked. Okay. I'll take those out and then shut the oven door. Quick, 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 quick. It's got everything for me. It's, it's got rum, it's got <laughs> apple, it's got crumble, it's got pineapple, and it's got chantilly cream. I grew up on crumbles. My grandma makes the most incredible fruit crumbles. Poor Judy didn't know when she woke up this morning she was competing with Granny Rutherford, <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need the other one out of the oven, please. Come, Come on. on. Oh, it looks all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get ready to crumble! This is my homemade, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple and apple crumble with a, uh, a Chantilly rum and lime cream Ooh. with raisins that is it's my family tradition. We soak our raisins for a year. What are the raisins soaked in? Rum. Perfect. Sounds like my type of dish, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you, Thank Judy. You. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. I have to say, that is absolutely stunning. Mm. Beautiful. All together, with the, with the raisins and the Chantilly cream, it's almost like a Christmas pud. This is a woman who knows her way around her flavour, isn't it? They all just complement each other so well. Unreal. And those boozy raisins were just delightful. Really nice, smooth cream with those little raisins in and the big punch of booze. The hint of vanilla, that is a beautiful thing. I'm not even in the crumble. There's a lovely caramel mixture in the bottom of the crumble from all the brown sugar she's used. Judy knows flavour. I look tired, don't I? <laughs> that was a lot of fun. This is like a fitness class. I am exhausted, but it's a good feeling. 